Hello Grade 12s, the purpose of this video is to um, spend a bit of time going through your assignment on municipal rates and um, just to explain some of those concepts over to you again. In order to explain municipal tariffs to you, I'm going to use the example of the worksheet that you completed on municipal tariffs in the first term. Before I do so, I just want to remind you to please go through the lesson from this week it was lesson one of the week that you did your municipal tariffs in and just go through the examples there. It's important for you to remember that you must first of all convert all of your costs into cents, um, convert from rands into cents. And second of all, your electricity tariffs are billed as inclining block tariffs, which means the more you use, the more you pay. And your water tariffs are billed on a sliding scale or a step tariff, um, which is very similar to the electricity tariff. Um, and also, the more you use, the higher the rate you will have to pay per unit. So let's move across to this assignment now. We are going to look at question one, where Mrs. Lorato is living in ABC municipality, and she needs to understand um, how her electricity bill was calculated. So there are two tables that are given to you. First of all, there's a copy of the electricity bill. On the next page, we see the electricity tariffs that ABC municipality uses. And here it is a classic block tariff, um, or as they call it, a sliding scale. The more you use, the more you pay. If you use between 1 and 100 kilowatt hours, you pay 132,70 cents per kilowatt hour. And if you use 101 to 400 kilowatt hours, you pay 155,30 cents, etc. The more you use, so your costs per kilowatt hour will increase. Question 1.1 asks us to determine the value of D, the amount of kilowatt hours used during March 2019. So we come and have a look at the um, electricity bill that Ms. Lorato has received, and we need to find out how many kilowatt hours did she use in the month of March. What they've given you is they've given you your readings, your electricity meter readings, and it is cumulative. So they add on to, to your meter each month the number of units you've used in that month. So we need to work out how many kilowatt hours um, Mrs. Lorato has consumed. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the difference between these two readings. So you're going to take out your calculator and you're going to work out the difference between 24,051 kilowatt hours and that was for March of 2019 and then her February reading. The difference between those two readings is going to give you 150 kilowatt hours during the month of March. Show how the cost of 210 rand 35 was calculated. What, where did they get this? This is her total electricity bill for the month of March, 210 rand 35. How did she, we get that cost um, from this block tariff table over here? So we're going to work that out. First off, in order to prove or work out how the municipality calculated this bill, first off, let's co um, convert your rands into cents. And in order to do that, you need to multiply by 100. So that means we're going to have 21,035 cents that we now need to figure out, according to that table there, where and uh, did the municipality get that from. So first of all, we, we know that um, Miss Lorato used 150 kilowatt hours. Now we must take that 150, watt kilowatt, 150 kilowatt hours and split it up into the various blocks that have been given to you in the tariff table. So we see the first block is from 1 to 100 kilowatt hours and the second is from 101 to 400 kilowatt hours. Now, 150 kilowatt hours is therefore going to fit into that second block. So we need to split it up. 150 kilowatt hours is going to be 100, which is the first block, plus 50 in the second block. So let's work out the first 100. The first 100 kilowatt hours, we are going to be charged a rate of 132.70 cents. 
which means we are going to have a total of 13,270 cents for the first um, block of usage. The second block is 50 kilowatt hours and it is going to be charged at a rate of 155 um, comma 3 cents. And that means we are going to have a total charge for the second block of 7,765 cents. What we do is we add these two totals to each other together and we get a total charge of 21,035 cents. And hey presto, that is what our monthly charge was. Question 1.3 asks us to determine the total VAT amount that is payable. Now we know the VAT rate is 15%. We also know that Ms. Lorato's total bill is 210 Rand 35 cents. So we just multiply that by 15%, which is 15 divided by 100, and you will get the total amount of VAT. Just on a side note here, what if question 1.3 had asked you, determine the total amount payable, payable including VAT? You would have then taken your 210 Rand 35 and you would have multiplied it by 115 over 100. And that would have given you the full price, including the 15% of that. And the answer to that is 241 Rand and 90 cents. Okay, that's just a side note there, not part of the assignment. Question 1.4 asks, calculate how much Ms. Lorato will pay if she uses 450 kilowatts of electricity and we need the VAT inclusive price. So, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to take those 450 watts of electricity, kilowatts rather, of electricity, and you're going to convert them into the blocks that have been given in your tariff table. So we see the first block runs from 1 to 100. So 450 kilowatts is going to be equal to 100 for the first block. Plus, the second block runs from 101 to 400. So that will be um, 300 kilowatt hours that are going to run in that block. So now we're sitting with a total of 400 because 100 plus 300 is 400. Then the last 50 kilowatt hours are going to um, be part of the third block which runs from 401 to 650. So what is our rate in the first block where we are talking about 100 kilowatt hours? Our rate is 132,70 cents. So our total rate for this first block is going to be 13,270 cents. In the second block, we're going to multiply those 300 kilowatt hours by the rate of 155 comma 30 cents. So we're going to have a total charge there of 46,590 cents. Then in our third block, we're going to take the 50 kilowatt hours and multiply it by the rate of 169 comma 20 cents. We're going to have a total charge there of 8,460 cents. Now what we need to do is we need to add these three totals together and we will get a total of 68,320 cents. Now we need to convert that into rands. So we divide it by 100 to get our rand amount, which is 683 rand and 20 cents. But now remember, that is a VAT exclusive amount. Because if you come and have a look at your table up here, it is rates excluding VAT. So now, as I just showed you previously, we have to multiply that by 115 divided by 100 because we have to add 15% to this total because VAT is charged at 15%. And we will then get a, a total charge of 785 Rand and 68 cents for if Ms. Lorato had used 450 kilowatt hours. Moving on to question two, we are now going to be looking at water tariffs. And these are also in step tariffs. And the table that's been given to you is the water tariffs for Cape Town under their various levels of water restrictions. We've got level five restrictions and level three restrictions. And you can see here in level five, 
that water is much more expensive than it is under level three restrictions. 2.1, what is the charge per kiloliter of water for six kiloliters under level five restrictions? So let's just break the question down. We need to come to the level five column, which is this one over here, the middle column, and we need to see the charge per kiloliter for six kiloliters. So which row are we working in? Are we in step one or are we in step two? Now, we are in step one. Why are we in step one and not step two? Because there's a six kiloliters listed in step one and one in step two. Note that in step two, your step that it is covering is where you have got more than six kiloliters and less than or equal to 10 and a half kiloliters. In step one, you are looking at usage between naught and six kiloliters, including six kiloliters. That little sign where it's a less than sign with an equals underneath means you are including the six. So this question 2.1 asks, you have used six kiloliters means you must go and look at step number one because that includes six. And under level five restrictions, the cost per kiloliter is 24 rand and 37 cents. 2.2 asks, what will the total cost for the six kiloliters of water be under the level five restrictions? Well, if it is 24 rand per kiloliter, 24 rand 37 per kiloliter, we multiply that by the six kiloliters and we get a total cost of 146 rand and 22 cents. Question 2.3 asks, for how many days will a family of three using a total of 152 liters of water a day have water if they only use six kiloliters of water? So what you need to do is you need to work uh, convert your six kiloliters into liters. So six kiloliters, we've got the conversion right here in the table, would be 6,000 liters. How do I knew th know that? If one kiloliter is equal to 1,000 liters, then six kiloliters is equal to, well, what have I done here? To get from one to six, I have multiplied by six. So what I do on the left-hand side, I must do on the right-hand side. So 1,000 liters, if I multiply by 6, will turn into 6,000 liters. So this family of 3 has got 6,000 liters available, and it uses 152 liters of water per day. So what are we going to do? We're going to say 6,000 liters divided by 152 liters per day. And I get an answer there of 39,473 dot 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 days. And we can round that off to say this family will have water for 39 days. Your last question, 2.4, asks you to determine the cost of 24 kiloliters of water, including that under level 3 restrictions. So if we're talking about level 3 restrictions, that means we are using this third column over here, the level three restrictions, and we have been asked to work out the cost of 24 kiloliters. So which step are we going to end up in? 24 kiloliters will mean we will finish in step three. However, we are not going to say 24 times by 31.77. That's the cost over here in step three. That is wrong. You don't do that. That is just the cost of your final set of kiloliters that occurs in step three. You must still go and work out the cost of your step one usage plus your step two usage plus your step three usage. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these 24 kiloliters and split them up into each of the first three steps of your water table. So step one is from naught to six kiloliters. So we're going to have our first six kiloliters are going to be charged by the step one rate, which is 15 rand 73. So our first charge is six kiloliters multiplied by 15 rand and 73 cents. I'm going to work that out now. Now let's just go move on to the second step, which is from six to 10 and a half kiloliters. 
So what, how many kiloliters am I using there in that step? You take 10 and a half minus 6 to work out how much usage there is in there. So 10 and a half minus 6 should be pretty easy is four and a half kiloliters in your in your second step. How much are we paying per kiloliter in that step? We are paying 22 rand and 38 cents. So I multiply that by 22 rand and 38 cents. Step three, our final step. Okay, we've already got here, before I move up there, let's just see, we've got six kiloliters in the first step plus four and a half kiloliters in the second step. These two steps therefore make up 10 and a half kiloliters. How many kiloliters am I looking at in total? 24. So 24 kiloliters minus the 10 and a half that I already have leaves me with a total of 13 and a half kiloliters in my final step, in step three. So 13 and a half kiloliters are going to be billed at a rate of 31 rand and 77 cents. And I'm going to put that down. And then I have to work out what each of these totals are. So step one, six kiloliters times by 15 rand 73 is going to give me a total charge of 94 rand and 38 cents. Step two, four and a half kiloliters multiplied by 22 rand 38 is going to give me a total of 100 comma 71 cents. And then my last step, the 13 and a half kiloliters multiplied by 31 rand 77 is going to give me a total of 428 comma 895 cents. And then what I do, I add these three totals up and I get a total rounded off of 623 rand and 99 cents is going to be my total bill for 24 kiloliters of water. The question asked that this must be a VAT inclusive amount. Let's just check over here. All of these charges in here, I'm lucky, include VAT. So I don't have to go and add VAT on myself. 